next set of tutorials, we're going to have a look at the activity step in the Quest system of the Space Virtual World platform. This is actually a generic step type that can contain all sorts of different activities, which we call startables. There are eight startables already in your project. You can also use the space scripting functions to create your own startables. The first startable I'm going to use is the startable teleport, which moves the user to a new location instantly. I add a new step and set the type to activity. In the scene, I create an empty game object and I name it player position 2. I already created one earlier that I use in the conversation steps with the NPC called player position 1. I move this new one to the location where I want to place the player ahead of the subsequent step. In this example, I'm using it to move them to the start of a race in front of the vehicle they'll be driving. Now I create another empty game object and to that in the inspector I add the startable teleport component. I then drag my target location game object player position 2 into the field on the startable and then add the startable to the quest step. If I want to, I can delay the initiation of the teleport. You might set this to 0.5 seconds if you find that the teleport is triggering instantly after a step where some other events are not clearing up fast enough, like releasing the user or their camera from a vehicle or something else that has the potential for a networked delay and a clash. In this case, my prior step is a conversation step, and I know that it's not going to cause any potential issues, so I can leave the delay at zero. I'm also going to tick the autoplay box on the activity step. This means the step will initiate as soon as the prior step finishes. For some startables, you might leave that off, requiring the user to click the quest NPC associated with the step to begin the step. For a teleportation, I could even create a new object, a button in the scene, add a quest NPC component to it, and then leave this unticked. Then the user can click the button to teleport when they're ready. The quest NPC in each step does not need to be the same as the one you initiate the quest in step 1 with. It can be anything you add a quest NPC component to. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to use the startable timed counter to deploy a timed race within the quest.